Hey, what's up guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy S8, S9, S10, even the S20. I'm gonna show you how to use DeX on a Vizio TV using a HDMI cable, okay? Very, very simple here. So I just hooked it up. I'll show you in one second how to hook it up. But first thing I just wanted to show you this because a lot of people have issues when they first connect their phone uh, to the, uh, the HDMI cable here. They get this up here and they don't know what to do. Just really quickly, what you need to do when you first set it up, when you put it on, what you need to do is just go ahead and go to your phone here and you need to swipe down and then you should get this under notifications, okay? You can see right here it says Samsung DeX. And if I tap here, use your phone as a touchpad, okay? So I need to click on that OK button on the, t on the, the OK on the TV. I need to go ahead and tap on tap here to open touchpad, basically like a mouse pad, okay? So now I have this open. Now if you look on the TV, you can see, you can see the mouse like moving around. Okay, now let me just go down here and click on OK, just to get out of that, okay? So first thing is, let me show you the cable here, what it looks like, and then uh, I'm going to connect it, and I'll show you how to use the Samsung DeX. So here's the, um, the cable, is, it looks like this, okay? It's a, a, HDM, it's a regular HDMI to a USB Type-C, okay? And I'll put a link below where you can get this one. I got this on Amazon, but this is a 4K at 60 FPS. Anyways, the USB-C, I'm obviously going to plug into my phone. By the way, this is a Samsung Galaxy S8, but it can, it'll can it work up to like an S20 as well. And let me plug the uh, HDMI part into my Vizio TV. Okay, so I just plugged it in and it should pop, something should pop up on the screen right away, but it didn't. That's because I probably need to change the HDMI port. So if I grab my remote here, um, my Vizio remote, I'm gonna grab tap on input up here. Let me see if you can see that. It says input right here. And let me go, I'm not, I'm not even sure which one it is. Let me just try HDMI 1 first. Let's see, okay, so it was on HDMI 1. Anyways, you can see right now that it's automatically on Samsung DeX, okay? So now what I have to do is I have to bring the trackpad up, okay, or, or the mouse pad. So what I can do is I can just uh, scroll down like that. And now if I look over here, it says Samsung DeX. And it says, uh, use your phone as a touchpad. So I can go ahead and tap on this, use my phone as a touchpad, and again, here's the touchpad, and you can see the mouse on my screen. Uh, the Samsung DeX basically makes your phone into like a desktop on a uh, big screen TV. And while I'm using this cable, let me show you something, another thing really fast too, because with this cable, not only are you able to use Samsung DeX, you can actually screen mirror as well, okay? So for example, if we just look on here, if we look down here, uh, it's a Samsung DeX up here, in regards to the touchpad and down here is Samsung DeX again. Okay, now it says if I tap here, I can switch to screen mirror. So if I tap on here, oops, what's what's going on? Okay, I gotta I gotta click that little down arrow right there and then switch to screen mirroring and then give it a second here. And voila. Okay, so we're actually mirroring everything that's on the phone is going to be on the uh, on the TV. Okay, and and this is, I mean, you can show work documents this way. You can sh you can go into your gallery and you can show photos and videos just like you can on the Samsung DeX. Anyways, let's go back to the Samsung DeX here. Let me just slide down again, and then from here, uh, Samsung DeX is available. So if I tap on here, it's going to switch back to the Samsung DeX. So give it one second here. Okay, now we're back to Samsung DeX. Let me just bring the trackpad back up. So let me slide down and use your phone as a touchpad. Let me tap on that right there. And now, if you can see my the mouse on the TV, you can see it moving around. And you can see we have uh, the date down here on the bottom right-hand side. You can see how much battery juice I have. Uh, we can go down here on the bottom left-hand side. We can click on that. You can see all my other apps on here my recents menu, everything you can do on your phone, you can do it on here as well. You can even watch YouTube videos and stuff like that. Even if I uh, I can I can go ahead and open up uh, internet, my browser here. And then I can, like I said, it's just like a Windows, uh, it's like a Windows computer now, Windows desktop. I can go ahead and maximize this. I can go ahead and read. If, if I'm gonna be scrolling like up or down, you have to use two fingers on the trackpad, okay? Like this, and then let me go ahead and let me minimize this. And of course, I can even, and I minimize the window, and of course, you can move the, the window around just like a, a regular uh, desktop Windows uh, 
PC, and then let me close that out. Even if I, I can go to my gallery here, you can see, uh, let, you know what? Let me play that video again that I did when I was screen mirroring. And let me just let you hear this, okay? One, two, three. Testing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now take note. Now, the audio comes out from the phone when I'm using Samsung DeX, okay? The thing is, if I'm screen mirroring and I'm playing that same video that's on my phone locally, if I'm screen mirroring, the, the audio comes out of the TV, doesn't come out the phone. But when you're using Samsung DeX, for some reason, the audio comes out from the actual, um, from your phone. And then I'll show you a quick uh, photos here. Like here's a photo right here. You can double tap. I can go ahead and maximize this zoom in zoom out and then i'm going to go ahead and close close this window right here so pretty simple and the thing is if you wanted to go ahead and disconnect you just pull the plug simple as that